create a new head with face builder and add your selfie. Switch to pin mode and align the mesh with the image. Make a new material for the head. Add your selfie as an image texture. Unwrap the mesh with project from view and use the original image for the roughness and the bump map. It is time to cry like Charlie XCX. Go to edit mode and select the vertices for the tears. Duplicate and separate it from the head. Even the space between the vertices with loop tools and relax. Repeat the last action with Shift R. 291 repeats should be enough, but if it isn't, proportional editing is always there to help. If you are done, add the skin modifier, make it thinner with Ctrl A in edit mode and add the subdivision surface. Create a metallic material with a colored tint. Make the shape more interesting with Ctrl A and proportional editing. Repeat these steps for the other tear stream and you are basically done. Try to recreate the lighting of the image, but it doesn't have to be perfect. If you don't like messing around with the lights, then make your own HDRI of the environment where the portrait image was taken. Before rendering, don't forget to subscribe, mean enable depth of field and tweak the settings until it matches with the original image. You can render this out as it is, but I prefer to set the head as a shadow catcher and render out the tears only. Then composite them with the original image. Mix the tears with the portrait and set the alpha as a factor. To make it more realistic, multiply the picture with ambient occlusion. Unfortunately, it affects the background as well. So it should be masked out. Switch to mask mode and select the area where you want the ambient occlusion to appear. Add the mask node, select your mask and connect it to the factor. As you can see, the mask works perfectly. You can adjust the ambient occlusion strength with a mix RGB. And the last step is to save this and create a visualizer for your crappy music.